everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today I do have my empties for the month of August and it's in a like sack because I've got too many and too many big ones. So if you'd like to see the products I've used up in August, if I'd repurchase all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. I guess we'll just go and get started. Uh, gone through two bags of coffee this month. We've got a lot of coffee. If you haven't seen our coffee collection, it's a problem, but we've been doing really good not buying coffee. But we used up the Starbucks vanilla. Um, Starbucks is not my personal favorite, so I, per I wouldn't repurchase this even on sale. Just not the biggest fan of Starbucks coffee, so yeah. And then the Great Value Creme Brulee, this stuff was really good. I would repurchase this. Not that we're going to any time in the near future or far future, but it is really good coffee. If you like, kind of like that creme brulee flavor, really, really good. And it's affordable, Walmart obviously, but really, really good stuff. So I do like that. I would repurchase that. Um, the Salimo, Sal anyway, th this is the Amazon brand of disinfecting wipes. I got a three pack for like 11 bucks. We just ran out. This was the last of it. We still have some from Dollar Tree, so that's what I'm using. But really, really good. It kills 99.9% of bacteria, um, kills viruses that cause COVID-19. It's convert like it's it's the same thing as Lysol disinfecting wipes. Um, 75 wipes, but this is what I like to use to clean the bathrooms with three times a week. And also like wipe down kitchen counters when I cook something or yeah. So yeah, I do like these. I am planning on actually repurchasing these because they're really good and uh, I do like them and they're affordable. So yes, um, I used up a thing of the Natural Sense baby powder. So this um, is from Dollar Tree. I like this stuff a lot. Um, I do have two or three other backups. Just it gets, it's so hot. I get sweaty. I'm a big gal, I need powder, so yeah. But this is nine ounces, it's hypoallergenic, talc-free, um, paraben-free, phthalate-free. So anyway, for a dollar 25, it's a good deal. So, and I do like it. So I do have this and I've already got backups. So no need to repurchase right now. Um, I also used up the Tarani sugar-free pumpkin spice syrup. So this is good, I do like it. Um, I'm sad that I used it up before actual pumpkin spice season started, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But this stuff is really good if you do like um, pumpkin spice. Um, sugar-free flavor isn't bad. For as sugar-free goes, it's actually really good. So I do like this stuff. I sometimes get it on sale for at my local Big Deal outlet, but I do like this stuff and I would recommend it. I would, I would repurchase this if we had a little bit of extra money. Um, some money to play around with, I would repurchase this because I do like it. So yeah, it's good. I do like it. Okay. The rest are all wax melts. Okay. So the maple and sugar drizzle from Better Homes and Gardens, really, really good. Most of these are fall scents. Very spicy, very mapley, really good stuff. I do like Better Homes and Gardens. Um, this is the crisp fall leaves, super, super good as well. So apple leaves, um, balsam berry, vanilla spices, and amber woods. I love this stuff. I would, if I found this, I would repurchase like 10 of them. I love this. This smells so good. It smells fresh and spicy and sultry. All the good things that you want your home to smell like. Well, what I want my home to smell like, this smells like. It's so good. I love this stuff a ton. Really, really good. Um, let's see. Better Homes and Gardens. The Spiced Pumpkin Pie. Of course, you know, I like it. I want it. I want some more of it. So, really good. I have other pumpkin ones, I think. So, anyway. Really good, though. Oh, my gosh. That's what I want to smell like. Uh, the Vanilla Bean and Pumpkin from Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, once again, a really, really good one. Um, I have the matching candle with this and, oh, it smells so good. Um, I want Better Homes and Gardens to start making body fragrances because I would buy all of them. If they smell like pumpkin, I'm buying all of them. So really, really good. Um, the Better Homes and Garden, the peppered lavender and cedar. This one 
is a little bit different. It smells really good though. Not a false scent, but it's it's a little bit manly, but like in the best way possible. It smells really, really good. Oh yeah, I would repurchase that one too. If it's a wax melt, I'm probably repurchasing it, except for this one. Uh, this is the Candlelight Limited Edition Midnight Pumpkin. So really, really cute packaging. Some of the Candlelight stuff is super strongly scented. You're good to go. This was not one of them. Um, yeah, it, it, it's okay. It's, I wouldn't repurchase this, so it's okay. But cute packaging. It smells good in the packaging, but once you get it to the wax warmer, it, there's not a very strong scent at all. I've had ones from Dollar Tree with stronger scent than this one. But like I said, some candlelight ones do have a strong scent. This just isn't one of them. The Sensational Pumpkin Apple Muffin. Yes. Okay, this one is really good as well. Just your basic pumpkin. You know what I mean? If you've smelt pumpkin spice or a pumpkin wax melt, that's what this smells like. It's good. And if I couldn't find any other pumpkin stuff, I would repurchase that one. This is something, but there's a big giant tag on it, so I can't see what it is. Anyway, it's a Christmas scented one. I think it's like spruce balm or something. Anyway, this one's okay. Uh, even as holiday scents go, this wasn't my favorite. I like the fresh cut Christmas tree. I like the cranberry. This one was just okay. I wanna, I wanna purchase it. Mm -mm. And then the, of course, the Better Homes and Gardens Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch. Because why not? It's not like we had, didn't have enough Better Homes and Gardens or enough pumpkin. You know what? Honestly, now that I've had so much pumpkin, like wax melt empties right here, they all kind of smell the same. I like them. Don't get me wrong. The only one that smells kind of different is the vanilla bean and pumpkin, but everything else kind of smells the same pumpkin wise not complaining about it but just fyi if you found a good pumpkin scented wax melt or candle that you like i'd probably just stick with that because they all kind of smell the same but that's good to know see if i didn't do these types of videos i would never know that they all pretty much smell the same but anyway so lots of repurchases um not the vanilla um the vanilla from uh, Starbucks or the Candlelight Midnight Pumpkin, but everything else um, I have either repurchased or I would repurchase. So yeah, there we go. Sorry about all the wax melts. It's just, I change my wax melts every other day. So I do go through wax melts pretty quickly. So anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments. What are some of the wax melts that you've used up so that way I don't feel so weird about having so many wax melts. And also let me know what are some other things you've used up this month. I would love to know down below and make sure that you do subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, vlogs, grocery hauls, recipes. I do all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy. And I'll see y'all here in just a second.